Hey guys, what's up? My name is Chris and welcome back to Dynasty Warriors 9. So we're heading out to meet up with um, Man Chao over there and we got an actual army. So it's weird because I can technically fast travel to like right over here. But then I'd literally be leaving my entire army behind. So I feel like there's probably going to be some story related stuff. Still upset that I couldn't go see... Sai Wanju, when she was right fucking there, really pissed off. Um, <laughs> why give her there if you're not going to let me actually be there? I got some random people just fighting randomly. Oh, hey, it's you up there. I think I know you. And I know you as well, too. So I don't know. Everybody's kind of like out and about. I don't see why you're all the way over there, but... I don't know. They are. I don't know if I should go meet up with some of these people or something. I might take make a little detour down here, except going from this direction, probably. No. Nope. I don't know. We'll definitely... We'll, we'll, we'll get there somehow. I'm still not sure. I don't know if I fast travel, if they're going to come with me, or it's literally just going to take ages for them to join me. Who knows? So maybe we'll just have like a nice little scenery trip. I don't know if we're going to run into any battles or anything. So maybe we'll just have a nice unique trick. I can tell a little story. Um, hopefully my issue with words and very perverted sentences is gone now. So that won't happen again. Anyway, just look at this. Anyway, I, mean, I think I'll tell you why I like Wu the most. Um, one, I do tend to favor things just favor stories based on the characters as well. So, um, Wu was my favorite starting out because one, red is my favorite color, you know, it's nice and standard. Green used to be my favorite color, so I actually started out with seven. I started out playing Shu, but it wasn't that interesting to me when I had started. Um, I also was playing with a friend in the multiplayer as well, so, you know, that had a hand in things of me giving up Shu. And I was just like, you know what, I might as well do Wu instead. And I, I really enjoyed it. I started out, I loved just like the family in Wu. And in Samurai Wars, it's the same thing. My favorite family or clan is the Hojo. They're red as well too. But I just really enjoyed them. And they're kind of similar in a way. And if you've played Rochi, their families are actually pretty close to with each other. Which makes a whole lot of sense. They're both, they're kind of like the lesser of two evils. You know, you have like... Shu and Wei, which are kind of like the extremes of the ends, you know, and then um, Wu is kind of in the middle. And unfortunately, due to that, it's they're not really the most. They end up not being the most favored because they're not as ambitious in either direction, really. So they kind of fade out in a way. But I, I just really like the whole family demeanor, or you know, demeanor, or whatever. Not the word I was looking for, but I forgot. But I, I just really liked playing as Wu. And I'm definitely going to do that. I really, if Tsai Wenji wasn't in Wei, I would have been doing Wu for you guys, 100%. Um, you guys gonna follow me? Yeah, they're gonna follow me. Let me get my horse back. Thank you! Yeah, so I really just enjoyed playing as Wu. I, my favorite character is Ganning for sure, though. <laughs> I absolutely fucking love him. I kinda like those just, like, badass characters. Oh, look at how cute! I'm not hunting for whatever reason, though. I don't think I need to. Um, but he was just super fun. And him and Lin Tong's forgive my pronunciation against, well, their relationships were just really funny, and I really enjoyed it, because I mean, I should, probably shouldn't say anything, because it might be spoilers, but I'm not like I'm going to do it anyway. But just, you know, gardening spoilers, I guess. Warning. For the characters and their relationships, I suppose. Killing Ling Tong's father, and he was super angry at him and pissed off. But he just ended up liking um, Gan Ning so much that he just, you know, it's like, you know what? You're going to be my rival, and that's about it. Where am I going? The completely wrong direction. Holy shit. <laughs> Alright, good job, me. Telling a story, and I just can't figure out where I'm going. Sorry, guys, that was my bad. At least half of you actually went the right way, unlike me. Oh no, Ling Fei, you were somewhere over there. I feel like I should. I should have bought stuff. I'm so stupid again. Oh well, whatever. I, I'll get 
in this town first, so maybe there'll be a little something, something. Well, that might be a fort. I don't know. Well, I'll, f I'll figure it out. I'll go somewhere. Maybe I should go here. I don't think I can actually get there. I don't know. This looks like mountain ranges, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, that relationship is pretty freaking cool. I like I liked it a lot. They were funny. I liked the family dramatic. God, I, I don't I don't know what word I'm trying to say, but I do at the same time. Um Yeah, I don't know. She just kind of bored me, I guess. Way felt really long, which is understandable, you know. It makes sense why it would be. Way felt really long. And it's weird though cuz usually I'll go for the the character designs, like, whichever story has, like, the best character designs. Yeah, I'll go for that. And woo, there's a few in there. Don't get me wrong. But then there's also a lot that I really just don't care about either. But it's just something about the red and just how they are. Again, they remind me so much of Hojo. Um, and Hojo I'm a bit biased on just because with Samurai Wars Chronicles, that's who you start out with. And that was my first experience in the Samurai Warrior series. So I was like, you know what? He's a cool dude. And he is a cool dude. You know? He's a damn cool dude. So after that, I just kind of like that personality. And I'm like, I wish you united the land instead. But you didn't. How far had you? Okay, we're, we're catching up again. We're catching up. We're doing great. Anyway, what are your guys' favorite um, clans, you know, from either Samurai Warriors or Dynasty Warriors, I suppose. Again, Wu is my favorite. I do have a few one-offs, you know. There's a couple that I really like in Shu and a couple I really like in Wei, like Sai Wenji again, of course. Fucking love her. She's my favorite Dynasty Warriors character. Um, like, Mitsunari is my favorite Samurai Warriors. She's my favorite Dynasty Warriors. Ah, uh, maybe I should actually go and fight in here a little bit. Why not, you know? I really need to get some levels, so I should probably start taking down some of these bases. This is literally just going to be an entire episode of me getting to the place because of how bloody far away it is. So I apologize. Oh, there's the odd. There's my odd. I knew it had to come at some point. I really need to stop saying that word. I don't think that word is safe anymore. Impressive, cousin. Yeah, I know, but I really need to just level up. Give me levels. I mean, they're all level 15s too, so I don't know. I feel like I'm under leveled, but then when the rest of the AI is the same level, I don't know if it's based on my level or if I'm the right level and it's just the last mission was a bit over level just because I wasn't fighting that guy anyway so you know <sighs> to be fair it's 1am and I should honestly probably be going to bed soon because I do work tomorrow I don't really get to sleep in entirely <laughs> I get sleeping more than I did today but I'm probably going to be exhausted if I don't go to sleep soon, can I? Oh, I can save. All right. It's actually letting me save for once when I'm not inside a little town. Come on, guys. You were on horses when we left. Get back on them. I mean, not really. They were in the cutscene, of course, but they weren't actually. Do I need to buy you guys horses? Because I don't have the. I don't have the money for that right now. Probably will later, then I'll give you guys all the crappies horses. Except for when one of you dies, and I guess you won't be getting a horse. But by then, yeah, I'll probably have enough money. I do love that combo. That one's nice. I hereby claim this area as my own. Thank you, Angry Sao Sao. Oh, it's like a bamboo forest. That's pretty. I like that. I've seen some pictures of a real bamboo forest, and I'd love to actually go to one because they seem just so fascinating. Just like this dense forest of bamboo. It sounds like a waterfall, but it's not a waterfall. 
Interesting. But anyway, yeah, if you ever get the chance to go to Japan, go to, or, China probably has them too. I don't remember what's the one that I looked at, but go to a bamboo forest. I really wish I could, honestly, but I don't think I'll ever actually make it out over there. Maybe Japan one day, but probably not China. Jap and I only say Japan because I do want to work with video games, that's literally where 90% of the companies are, so... Maybe there's a potential chance. Yay, I discovered a new area. We'll totally go in here. Yeah, let's take them out. Let's capture this place. Why don't we? Why not, yo? Are these all chests or what? Let's go over here. You guys can just, you know, do what you do best, I suppose. But I want to go capture this area. Nice little quaint town. Village thing. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'm sorry. I didn't think I'd actually break that. I should know because I've broken fences before, but at this stage, I don't. I didn't think I could break that fence in particular. It's also getting dark, so maybe a detour isn't the greatest, but you know what? Screw it. Screw you. I'm making a bloody detour. At least part of my party is going to come with me. And this could potentially give me some more levels, especially if there's level 22s in here. 22 assault captains. They're not going to do great, I don't think, but, you know, I'll do fine. Oh, shit. No! I don't want to fall in the water. God, it was a death sentence if you fell in the water in 7. I don't know if I actually have an Empire's 8 or not. That, I don't know. Ooh, do you think they'll make a nine empires? I wonder how that would be because I would think that they would take out the open world aspect though if they did. Because empires would just be a little bit more confusing if not. Ooh, but imagine. Oh, I can see them having like an actual town building feature though if it was open world. That would be really cool. Or building a castle basically. Because you can, like, upgrade castles in Samurai Warriors Empires, of course, but, like, actually putting in facilities that aren't just to help, you know, the leader out, but putting in facilities, having villagers walking around that you can talk to, see how they're liking, you know, the place. Oh, that would be so nice. I want that. I want that. Get on that, Koei Tecmo. Do it. I don't know how you do the battle portion of it, but I know how you do everything else. And so long as you keep also your, like, standard quests, that's really nice. I enjoyed that a lot. Just because trying to raise relationships without having any quests and literally only doing battles is a pain in the ass. Especially if the battles start getting really difficult. Yes, give me that money. So maybe, maybe you can shorten the world a little bit. Like, you can still keep it in open world fashion, but just kind of, like, shorten... Shorten the world up a little bit, you know? Anyway, let's go through here. Ooh, what else could they add? Obviously, they'd keep their character creator. Well, that'd be cool. Ooh, maybe you can get houses for certain people. Oh, that'd be so cool. Nothing fancy, of course. I don't think they'd go that far, but you can place in houses for, like, your main team or whatever that are in those specific areas that you control. I'm excited. This is actually making me more excited than this game. <laughs> just because of all the possibilities that they could do because of it. Just because of the s scale of it. So anything less would actually be a bit of a disappointment. I just do want the actual fighting to be in a smaller location, of course. Um, I don't want to have to go across the entire map for one mission, so... They'd have to change up the formula a little bit, but it's not like they wouldn't already, so, you know. I might as well. Is there anyone else that I need to fight in here, or am I just, am I good? I don't know. It's not really, I still don't get, are these chest icons? Because it's not really, not like showing me anything. Nice little area, though. We can make this our base, guys. I think it's thundering outside. 
Can I sit? I'd love to be able to sit. But I don't think I can sit. I don't think I can call a horse in here either. Because I don't really want to run all the way out. Oh, let's see. What other features could they add? They can keep in the child one if they want to. Obviously, they don't need to go Sims on it, you know. They can just do it once you get married. Do the thing that they did in eight empires. If they so want to. I, I didn't care too much about the children, though. I don't know. They just kind of appeared there. And they're like, yeah, here you go. Here's a fighter for you. So, I didn't really bother using them because it was very one side at least weapon wise it was towards you but it was kind of nice to see the random generated things that you can create out of that depending on who you marry where horse where are you horse you're not underwater are you I swear to god if you're underwater oh my god my horse is in water what the fuck how'd you get down there horse horse there you are. Who's a good horse? I don't know how you got out of there. Yeah, they're all the way over there now. Sorry, guys. I just needed to make this detour. I think it was well worth it. It didn't say we claimed any area, but I think it was well worth it, you know? Can Sai Wenji be with you, Yuan Shao? I didn't think that she was a part of this time period. I mean, she's probably alive, but, you know, I didn't think she was actually active at all. But then again, in 7 she literally had no story to her at all. She was not in the story mode. In the slightest bit. So she's just this random character. And again, I didn't play 8, so you know. Hey, Assault Captain. What's up? I feel like I just surprised him. Just like, hi, surprise! Walked off my horse. There we go. Hey, I've caught up to you now. Hi, I leveled up and you didn't. That's what you get for going ahead of me. Still trying to think of more features. I definitely wouldn't mind having strategies, but I don't think they'd do that for this one. I think they'd keep it for Samurai Warriors and not put it in Dynasty Warriors. The All the strategy stuff. Especially if it's going to be at least somewhat open world I don't think that they'd include that the formations and everything um, which is fine they can keep that to Samurai Warriors I enjoyed that about it mm, I just want them 100% to keep quests but also um, make there be actual more relationships like friends and that kind of stuff are you guys getting stuck over there because I definitely would have actually liked to have friends like you can in Samurai Wars Empires. Hello, my horse. Am I? Oh, they're all the way over there. We're coming, Yuan Shao. We're coming. I swear to God. We'll be there eventually. I just don't know when. This has been 18 minutes. 18 bloody minutes. I might cut out here or there. Don't get me wrong. Also, I thought I'd the 17s overlap, so it's just like 77. I'm like, what? I think that's a little dramatic. Oh, I captured an important base. All right, I'm fine with that. I hereby claim this area as my own. Thanks, so, so. All right, I'll take it. Pick up some items along the way. Why not? Ooh, discovered a what? I, I don't know what that just said. I discovered something, though, with a J. Oh. I was hoping I could jump with my horse, but, you know, that's a different bun. I'm coming. Imagine if I, if someone, if an officer just came jumping in like this. Would they think I'm crazy? Hey, bud! Yeah. It's 
scroll that allows longbow gel to be crafted. Okay, don't really care. Probably won't use the bows that often, to be honest with you, unless I really need items from hunting. My lord, our men are being repelled by the forces of the enemy general, Kuo Xiong, at Seshui Gate. As things stand, we have no chance of passing the gate. What? It's one thing to struggle against Lu Bu, but how is it that we can't overcome Hua Xiong? Send in more men, and overwhelm him with numbers! But my lord, the front lines are low on provisions. Perhaps it would be better to send a supply unit and ensure sufficient supplies first. What? Yuan Shu was supposed to be in charge of provisions! Ugh, oh, he'd better not be sulking, just because he hasn't been made leader! Or maybe he is withholding supplies for a reason of his own. My lord, this is a separate matter, but Dong Zhuo's forces are looting a neighboring village. The villagers have requested our aid to stop them. Uh, quiet! Now is not the time for me to be worrying about some trifling matter! Then, we will provide the village with our help. Huh? Who are you again? Well, whatever. Your unit doesn't seem very large, so losing you shouldn't make much difference. I will leave the village in your hands. Show the villagers the benevolence of our coalition forces. Are you just going to take that, Lu Bei? Why am I going out? What? You were also with the Volunteer Corps during the campaign against the Yellow Turbans, were you not? Ah, Master Cao Cao. I thank you for your aid the other day. I admire your concern for the people. Still, this situation won't last. Surely you have other goals, other desires. Why did you agree to join the coalition for this battle? I doubt that it was simply to save some tiny village that finds itself in trouble. It is just as you say, Master Cao Cao. I wish to make a name for myself in this battle and gain more strength. That will enable me to help more ordinary people. I'm afraid this is a failing of mine. If I see anyone suffering, I cannot look the other way. But I must be moving on, if you will excuse me. Huh. They're a rather odd bunch. Yuan Xiao considered the plight of the village to be a trifling matter. However, that Liu Bei fellow jumped at the chance to help them. On one hand, you slay Dong Zhuo and eliminate the source of the corruption. On the other, you save a village from plunder. It is hard to say which the people prefer. Hmm, I suppose so. Although one cannot afford to be caught up with what's happening right in front of them, you know how to step back and view the bigger picture. Hmm. Yes, I suppose I do. We simply need to remain on our path until we achieve our ultimate goal. In that case, we should be going, my lord. Everybody's eagerly awaiting your orders. Hmm. Very well. Our target is Luo Yang. We shall slay the traitors Dong Zhuo and restore the Han Empire to its former glory. I don't know, sometimes he sounds very raspy and then other times he just doesn't. Who have gathered under my banner. We will attack Luo Yang and slay Dong Zhuo. Yeah. Oh, look at everyone running. Aren't you guys going to the village? I mean, they probably are now, but you know.
Which one? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Hulao Gate is um, further that way. <laughs> I just want Saiwenji back. Ooh, that's a castle. Maybe I can take that. Is there a fast travel point to there? <gasps> there is. I might do that, honestly. I mean, I don't have to do that. There is a ship. Um, uh, I can't fast travel over there. Yeah, let's do this real quick. Why not? Why the hell not, right? It's level 19, I can get some use out of it. Might be weird I'm going all the way down here when they're all the way up there, but... They can go do their own thing. Once it loads, of course. Oh man, there's a lot of people here. I'm just gonna charge right on in, why? <laughs> oh, why the hell not? Where are you heading to anyway? Oh, there is actual people here. Okay, yeah, there's Wu here. Oh, I get people. I can go help other people. I'll probably help them out too, to be honest. Although I think we have to capture the gate first anyway, so. Is there anybody else? That needs my help. It doesn't look like it. Master Sniper? Please, mission causes. Yeah! Yeah, hell yeah, I gotta get them over there. And this could give us some pretty decent levels. Yeah, I will join that eventually. But just not right now. Don't worry, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, God. Can I just say a different word? Is that is that in my vocabulary? I'd really appreciate it, brain. Oh, I can make him roar, all right. Okay, that one I had to do. I'm sorry. Hey, buddy. I don't know where you came from, but you picked the wrong place to die. Oh, God. Siege weapons? What do you expect me to do here? I'm just trying to get more people outside. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> joke's on you. Can I destroy this? Yes, I can. How do you know I'm out here? I mean, I guess, but I don't feel like I've done anything yet. Okay. Well, there's still like one dude. Let me take care of these assault captains over here. That are on the siege weapon. Deer charm, cute. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition. Yeah, you go, Sao Sao. You tell him what's what. You're definitely special. Aw, oh, thanks, newbie. If they've already used the siege weapon, I'm just you know screwed. Don't worry, I still plan to save you. Like, actually save you. I don't know where this guy's running to. I like how that other... That soldier's just walking. They're just walking. They're like, yeah, we're good. It looks like our people are starting to leave, though. Yeah. 
You can do it. You can make it out of there. Let's see. Where do I want to go next? How? How'd you get all the way over there? I swear to God, they're fast traveling too. It looks like... He's going over there for whatever reason. I'm going to probably take over this one. Um, because I guess that's where the dude with the provisions is having issues. Um... Yeah, that's pretty close. We'll head over that way. Let me mark it first so I know. Yeah. Thank you. See, aren't you guys happy I'm here? One time I do do a good deed, huh? Man, he does like a 180. It's really funny. Let's fly! Look at this. Look at how silly this is. I'm sorry. The horse already runs a little funny. Yeah. Even together, rats are still rats. Don't talk. Through gig or gig. Don't talk. Don't just just shut up. Just shut up. Just sit there and look not pretty. Because you don't. But just just stop. I don't I don't like hearing him talk. I already said there's nothing appealing about him, but his voice definitely doesn't help. Sorry to the voice actor, but, I mean, his character doesn't really help your voice at all. Not like your voice is bad. It's just, you know, not the greatest acting job ever. He's one, he's one of those ones. I'm hoping that we get all the, you know, the bad ones out early, and then after that, everyone's just smooth sailing from there. So that's how he, it's weird because Sasso's voice actors sometimes really, really good and then other times really, really bad. So I'm just wondering how the direction really went because I do know it's not always the actor. Sometimes the directors just want it that way. You know, that's just what they want. There's nothing you can do about it, you know. Like if that's what they want, that's what they want, right? Just like in regular acting. Oh no, he's been defeated by that dude. What are you doing all the way up there? I'm going in a weird direction, by the way. That's weird. Oh, it's a camp. It's a camp very far away from the actual gate. Like, my god. This is probably a very strategic point to capture, though, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Get rid of these base captains. Ah, beautiful. That's nice. That's nice. You're doing great, Cao Cao. You're doing great. It does feel like the lag has gone down a bit, though, which is nice. I haven't really experienced as bad as the tutorial anymore, which is good news for me. I was a little worried that it was just going to be good at the start and then get worse from later on, so hopefully it just keeps getting better, honestly. Hi guys! And die! I really like those finishing moves. They're really, really nice. And they do a decent amount of damage to no matter who. Oh, he's level 20. That's good. Gives me some good EXP. Is there anybody else? No, I think that's it. I hereby claim this area as my own. There you go. That's how I know it went through. Oh, it would help if I actually... I don't know. What are you doing over there? I feel like I should go visit him to see what's... What's up? Oh, but they're down there. Why are you going such a weird direction, you guys? Anyway, though, I think I'm going to end this episode off right here. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.